in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create an estimate on PayPal. You can use it on your personal account or a business account, and it has a pretty good amount of features. So you can see right now I am on a personal account on PayPal. And right over here, right beside request, you got more. Clicking on that, you can see over here at the bottom, you have create an estimate. But if for some reason you don't see this little menu over here, what you can do is go to send a request. And then from send and request, you can go to more and then click on create an invoice. And then in the invoices, you have a tab right beside it, which is estimates. If you're trying to create an estimate with a business account, what you can do is go up to pay and get paid. Click on that tab and then go down into invoicing to see create and manage estimates and go ahead and click on that. You can see I already have one up here, but when you start, you're not gonna see an invoice up here, obviously. So what I can do is go to create an invoice and go to create an estimate. You can see that I already have a logo up here. You're not gonna see one. I'm gonna get it remove it. So this is what you'll end up seeing. So I'm closer to this. Now I have my templates right here, in which case if I had any templates, this is what out this is where they <laughs> if I had any templates, this is where they would show up at. But for right now you got quantity, the yeah, amount only, and then you got hours. So right here you can create a new template once you finish making an estimate and then you can manage the template settings up here. This estimate number is gonna be number two. And then I got the estimate date for today. And then I got a reference number if I want to put one. But yeah, I was gonna say I wasn't gonna use one, but I'm gonna go ahead and put one. I'm gonna put, actually I'm put 111. And then I got my business information right under here. But first I'm gonna go ahead and put a logo. Let's just use a quick logo. Next thing, I want to look at my business information. You can see my business name, my first name and my last name, which will show up. The address, it's not gonna show up. The phone, not gonna show up. Email's not gonna show up. But let me put a fax that will show up. Uh, let's just go ahead and make a fake one real quick. Good enough. Website right here, I can put in a tax ID, let's say one, and then any additional information such as business hours, I can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna leave that as is. So now I got some something up here. Of course, at any point in time, I can go back here and replace or edit anything I got. So let's go ahead and go to type of services. You got four different types, which is shippable goods, pick up or drop off goods, digital goods, or you got a simple service. So I'm gonna go with service. And then I got who I'm going to bill it to. I'm going to go with uh, J High again. There we go, J High. If you remember J High from my invoice video, he got shipped some boxes. Uh, and now I got, since I got J high, I can edit him up here. The recipient video, <coughs> recipient information, which is the email, business name, first name, last name, other things like I save to the address book, which I'm not gonna do. We got shipping address, billing address, and, and then language. And right beside that, it says ship to. So I can do that, which is basically the same thing. But I'm gonna leave that blank and then last but not least you got language which you can add but once again the only thing it does is you see the exact same thing and then it just shows up the language right here at the bottom so we're going to go from there and go to customize and i got three different things i can do for customize which is quantity hours or amount only now from what i've seen you can only do one of these you can't do you can't do like two of them at a time. You can't do quantity plus hours. So that's one of the only things, one of the only drawbacks from this I've seen. So what I'm going to do is just do uh, hours and I'm going to do consultation fee. 
consulting fee. I don't even know how to spell consulting for real consultation. Good thing I don't really need to know how to spell it <laughs> with spell check. All right, so I can go ahead and add and remove detail. Let's say I don't want to have a detailed description. It's just consultation, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. But let's say I want to add item discount, a specific item discount, I can do that. You got the discount if for the invoice, and it's total, which is down here. I can get rid of that. And then shipping, I can get rid of that. Then you have advanced tax information. Advanced tax options. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm messing up my words a little bit. And right beside that, you got currency, in which case I can change it from US dollars to currency in other countries. But I'm gonna keep it as US dollars for right now. Now let's just say I want to add one more description other than consultation. Let's just go with something random like, I don't know, boxes. Again, Boses, even better. All right, so <laughs> we got one hour of Boses and one hour of consultation at a rate of $30 for consultation with a discount. I'm just gonna have a discount of about 2% discount on that. With a tax percent, that's $2. And then the Boses, uh, whatever that is, it's gonna be for one hour Boses and then a rate of $10. $10 an hour for Boses and I'm gonna leave it as is. So now I'm at $39.99. You can see right under here, whatever's highlighted, you can either save the item or you can add a row right below it. I'm not gonna worry about that. I don't need to save none of this. So over to the left, you got payment options over to the left of your total. So you can allow partial payment and you got a minimum payment. I'm going to put a minimum payment of $10. And then I can also allow the customer to add a tip. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. You have a note that you can, you have a note that you can send to the recipient. And then you have your terms and conditions as well. And right below both of those, you have attached files and then you have a memo that you can add to yourself. So after looking at everything we did, we can go ahead and go to preview to get one last look. And we go up to the top. This is what the customer will see once you send it. And you can see all the way at the top left, this estimate, they can go ahead and accept it or they can request changes to have it be updated. So that's everything I want to show off today. I think this uh, estimate is pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is that you can't have more than one type of uh, type of category that you can use. Uh, you have to use either hours or quantity. I wish you could use both of them at the same time. But yeah, other than that, I think it's pretty good, especially for it being free. And if you're already using PayPal in your business anyway, and this is good enough for it, then yeah, there's really no downside to using it. So hopefully you find the information useful. If you did, why don't you go ahead, like, uh, comment, you know, comment below. Let me know that you liked it. That also lets YouTube know to suggest this to other people because this is a good video. And uh, also subscribe and I'll be back with more information, more videos later. Thanks for watching.